Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. I recently got a new phone. I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And so today I'm gonna show you how you can set it up using an old Android phone so you don't have to do a whole bunch of work to get your phone set up. Samsung makes it really easy about switching phones. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. And here we go. All right, so here we have it. This is my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and this has been my former daily driver, and this is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. And so, yeah, you can see right here, they're, they're very similar in size as far as screen size and whatnot. Um, so I'm gonna transfer my data from here over to here. So let's go ahead and get started. So let me go ahead and, uh, and, and turn the screen on. We can see right away that it's gonna say, let's go. And it's gonna tell us that it's gonna have English right there as selected. We can go ahead and select any of these various languages that we want. And I'm gonna leave it on English because that's what I speak. Now there are some, uh, some emergency calls and accessibility features that you can activate right away, which I'm not going to do. So let's go ahead and hit the blue button to get going. Okay, so we can see it's gonna say, check out some info to get started. It's gonna say terms and conditions, privacy policy, sending uh, of diagnostic data, optional, and information linking details, optional. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select the terms and conditions and the privacy, and now I'm gonna go ahead and select next. You do not have to select all of them. You can if you want. They do give you the option to select to agree to all the above. However, I do not like to send, um, you know, the data, extra data. They have enough data. They don't need any more on me. So let's go ahead and uh, get this going. Now it's going to ask me to choose a Wi-Fi network here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my Wi-Fi network, which is called Black Lives Matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. It's now gonna ask me to put in my password. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in right here. All right, so I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna go ahead now and select next. And this is gonna then start checking for updates. If you have an update that is available for you, it's going to then go ahead and uh, download the update before you get going further. And we can see that there must be some updates available because it actually says uh, installing updates. And now it says uh, copy apps and data. So we can see where it says you can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google, Google account and more. And you can select don't copy or you can select copy. I'm gonna go ahead and select copy right here. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna hit next. And then you're gonna see it says use your old device. You, uh, you need your old Android or iPhone or iPad device so that you can do it. So this is not only gonna work with Samsung devices, but it'll work with iPhones and iPads as well. So if you're switching platforms, you can do this. So that's really fantastic. Samsung really does make it easy to get your data into your new phone and up and running in no time. So I'm gonna go ahead and select next now. And we can see where it says updating smart switch. And so it'll take just a moment. It says installing smart switch. And once it is uh, installed, we'll be able to use it. And there we go. It says get connected. What's your old uh, device? And this is where you can select whether it is an Android, a Galaxy uh, slash Android phone or an iPhone or iPad. I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, Android because my old phone is an Android device. You can see here it says your data will be used in accordance with our privacy policy by continuing to uh, you agree to the terms of service permissions. I'm gonna click agree. And now it's going to ask me, do I wanna do this wired or do I wanna do this wirelessly? So you can choose to do it either way. I'm gonna go ahead and cho choose wirelessly since um, I didn't put a cable over here to do it. So I'm just gonna choose wireless. And we can see here it says get connected, open smart switch on your old device to connect. It says searching for nearby devices using high frequency audio. You can get a smart switch from the Play Store or by scanning uh, a QR code. So I'm gonna set that down for just a moment and I'm gonna open up my, uh, my Galaxy Z Flip and I'm gonna go ahead and right away, as soon as I open it up here, we're gonna see a message that says, send uh, your stuff to Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G is trying to connect so your data can be copied. And it says yes or no, so I'm gonna go ahead and select yes. And it's then going to start uh, sending stuff over. So you'll see here, it's gonna ask me, do I wanna allow the connection? I'm gonna go ahead and say allow. So it says Galaxy Note 20 Ultra wants to connect to your phone. I'm gonna click allow. And we can see over here, it says uh, connected to Galaxy uh, Note 20 Ultra. Over here it says searching Galaxy Z Flip. And now 
it's going to ask me to swipe up to see more. It's gonna ask me what I wanna transfer over. All this stuff can be transferred over here. It looks like there may be one app in here that can't be transferred. And it says um, calendar can't send events from synced accounts. So um, that may be the one thing. And WeChat doesn't look like, uh, it looks like there's gonna be some issues there maybe. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead. I have all this stuff checked off. So some of these things you may have to go in and, uh, and log back in, but most of it should transfer over. You can see I have a lot of apps in here. So um, it's gonna, all this stuff is checked. So all this stuff should transfer over just fine, except for the ones on the top that had these little uh, you know, grayed out or had the little uh, information thing on there. So, all right, let's go ahead and hit done. And this should get things uh, started. It says choose what to bring. So I'm gonna choose all of that there. So it's gonna ask me if I wanna bring all of this here, whether it's gonna be calls, messages, apps, settings, home screen, images, uh, videos, audio, uh, and documents and files. I'm gonna choose to bring everything over at this time because this is gonna be my new daily driver. So I really wanna have this phone set up pretty much the way I have my Z Flip set up. So when I go to use this phone, there's no learning curve. There's nothing about trying to figure out where stuff is. Everything's already there. So I'm gonna go ahead now and just go ahead and hit transfer. And you, you'll notice here where it says, find out what we can't bring. If you click that there, you can go ahead and they will tell you what you can't bring over. So you'll see here it says, um, calls and contacts, uh, says read only, contacts aren't copy, um, says messages, emergency alert messages, apps, so some of this stuff that can't be brought over, you'll see there. So you can sync that stuff you know, later if, you're, if your stuff is synced up. So it's, it shouldn't really be a problem. So anyways, let me go ahead now and click uh, transfer. And we can see here it says, bring your Google account. It says, bring your Google account to your new phone, unlock your old phone and tap copy. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap copy on there. And it's gonna ask me for my pin or to use my thumbprint. So I'm gonna use my thumbprint on there. And it's gonna say, it's gonna copy my accounts. And now it's gonna start copying stuff over. So now it's gonna ask me to sign in on here on my, um, on my Google account. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Now we can see here, if you have multiple accounts, it's gonna ask you to copy over from all of your accounts. So it's gonna ask you to sign in to each one of your accounts here. So I have multiple Google accounts, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in on each one of these accounts. All right, so there we go. I have logged into my accounts here and it says copy in your stuff and it has this little tab that says keep screen on. So I'm gonna tap that to keep the screen on. We can see here it says get connected. It says once setup is done, you can check back and that disappeared real quick because it's moving so fast. I'm gonna go ahead and click again, copying my stuff and click uh, keep screen on. We can see here it says accounts added and it added all of my accounts in here. It says uh, your email, contacts, calendar events and more will sync to this phone. You'll, you're also ready to start downloading apps, music, games from, uh, go from Google Play says you can add and remove accounts later by going to the set, going to settings and accounts. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And it says getting account info, just a second. And it's, uh, it's starting to roll through. It says check what's trending with the Google Assistant. I'm gonna go ahead and select next. And then it's gonna ask you about various Google services. If you wanna use location services, all that stuff here, you can choose how you want. They turn all this stuff on by default. I don't wanna send my usage and diagnostic data. Um, I generally don't use my, uh, my location data on there. So um, we'll turn that off. I don't like to use allow scanning services to scan for Wi-Fi networks. The only thing I do is back up to, uh, to Google Drive to easily restore my data. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that checked and I'm gonna go ahead and select, uh, select accept. And we can see here it says protect your phone. It says prevent others from using your phone without your permission by activating uh, device protection features. Uh, face, uh, face recognition, fingerprints, pattern, print, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select, uh, I'm gonna select fingerprints and I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, actually I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go back one and I'm gonna select facial recognition. And we'll see here it says a convenient way to unlock your phone and verify yourself, apps, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna go ahead and select continue. And it says, um, it says before you can register your face, you need to set up secure, uh, a secure screen lock pattern. Uh, pin or password. Remember it, you'll need it to unlock your phone after it uh, restarts and occasionally on other times to ensure your phone is secure. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a pin. And now we'll see the little face there and it's asking, do I wear glasses? It says, if you do, 
put them on so you can register your both your face with your glasses and without them. So I, I don't wear glasses, so I'm gonna go ahead and select continue. And we can see there now it's gonna wanna register my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and get started with this. So it's really, it was just really, really quick. So um, yeah, it says, it says stay on screen. It says when you unlock your face, if when you unlock with face uh, recognition, stay on the lock screen until you swipe, turn, uh, turn this off to go directly to the last screen you were using. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because I wanna be able to, once it's unlocked, I just wanna go straight to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select next. And here you can see where it says faster recognition, required eyes open, brighten screen. I'm gonna leave all that checked and select okay. Now it says adding finishing touches. This may take a few. So it's just gonna go through. Now it's gonna ask me to sign into my Samsung account. So I'm gonna go ahead and get signed in. All right, so I went ahead and signed in. So now it's asking me about all of these other things. Welcome to your Samsung account. Continue to, uh, to read the terms and conditions, yada, yada, yada. All this stuff is optional. I'm gonna go ahead and select the one. Uh, I think actually all these are optional. So I don't need any of that. I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, and hit agree. And I got a code that's over here. It's asking me, am I attempting to sign into my uh, Samsung account? I'm gonna select yes. And now there is the code that's in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the code. So let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and put the code in there. So we will do that right here. And once we have the code in there, I'm gonna go ahead and select done. And there we go. I'm now signed into my Samsung account and it says all done. And it says unused uh, unused apps will be put to sleep to an extent to extend battery life. This will cause apps to stop working correctly. Tap here to prevent this. I'm gonna leave that there because sometimes I download apps that I don't use very frequently, but I don't want to get rid of them because when I need them, I need them. So it's okay if they're put to sleep. So I'm gonna go ahead and select finish. And I'm gonna select okay on that one. And we can see here that I am now on my home screen and my phone is still, my, my Galaxy Z Flip is still copying stuff over to my, uh, my Note 20 Ultra. So at this point, all I have to do is simply just let it run, that's it. My Z Flip is gonna continue to transfer stuff over and I'm gonna have apps that will start to show up here and you'll see here that I'm gonna continue to have apps. There's some stuff that's already on there, but if you notice here, if I scroll down here, you'll see where it says, uh, completing setup and it shows install zero out of 15 apps. You'll see right here it says smart switch, copying your stuff, 13 minutes left. And it's already starting to send over some notifications. So we'll see right there, if I click on this right here, it's then gonna show me again, installed zero out of 15 apps. So once this smart switch is done copying stuff over, then I'll be able to go ahead and I'll, it'll start sending over my apps and installing my apps. And so I have about another, I don't know, 15 to 30 minutes for it to finish. Cause once I finish the 30 minute smart switch, I mean the 15 minute smart, uh, smart switch or 13 now, it's gonna probably be about another 15 minutes before all of my apps are downloaded and on here and ready to rock and roll. All right, so there you have it. That is how you can set up your brand new Galaxy Note 20 Ultra using another phone, either an Android phone or an iPhone or iPad. You can use whatever it is that you have. If you have an iPhone, use that. If you have an, uh, another Android phone, use that. If you have a Galaxy phone, use that. You can set it up with Smart Switch. It makes it very, very easy to use and it's awesome. Super, super simple. That way all of your accounts get sent over, your photos, your videos, all that stuff gets sent over. Very, very easy. So yeah, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. I'm gonna leave links to both these products down below, both to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and to the Z Flip. And uh, yeah, so I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere and see all the products I've reviewed over time. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.